So welcome back to today's video. I just want to do a quick one on installing Pi-hole on a virtual machine, a Synology virtual machine. The reason for this video is a couple of viewers who recently saw the video that I did on installing Pi-hole on a Synology Docker container asked if it could be done on a virtual machine. So I went ahead, I researched how to do that, and I figured I would just share what I learned. If you're interested in that other video on installing Pi-hole on a Docker container, I'll put a link to that up above. But if you're interested in learning on the steps to get Pi-hole installed on a Synology virtual machine, then stick around. All right, so we're at the Pi-hole website, and that's pi-hole.net, and I'll put a link for you guys down in the video description. So the first thing I want to do is look at the supported operating systems that Pi-hole can be installed on. So let's click on supported operating systems. And you can see right in this area here, it says Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, and CentOS. So you have your choice of what brand of Linux you want to install on. I'm going to install it in today's video on Ubuntu version 2004 server, because that's just what I have installed as a virtual machine on my Synology. Looking down here at the number two, where it says install Pi-hole, if we click on Pi-hole, what we're gonna do is do a one command install. It's gonna install using this curl command. So the first thing we're gonna do when we switch over to the actual Synology virtual machine is get curl installed, and then we'll run this command to install Pi-hole on the Synology virtual machine. So I'm gonna switch over to my lab virtual machine, and this one here, Ubuntu YouTube demo is running. So if I switch over to it, you can see that I'm at the login prompt. Now I already updated the updates and upgrades and that took quite a while. So make sure before you get to the part of installing Pi-hole, curl and Pi-hole that you get your server updated. Now, I'm not showing you how I created the virtual machine in Synology today because I'm assuming if you asked for this video that you would be familiar with and have some experience playing with virtual machines. If you want to see how I created Ubuntu in the Synology virtual machine, that could be another whole video. But for today, we're going to start with a vanilla installation of Ubuntu 2004 server. I ran all the updates and upgrades, and now we're going to go ahead. And the next step is we're going to install curl. So we're going to start by saying sudo apt install curl. And it's asking me for my password. So the next thing we're going to do is run this command. So let's go back to our server and I'm going to type that in and I'm going to preface it by sudo. And I'll put this command down in the video description as well. So you can just copy and paste it. Did I type something wrong? Let's see. Okay, so I see what I did. I left out the most important part of the command and that is the word curl. So we're installing using a curl command and I left out the most important part. And I'm no Linux expert. I know just enough to dabble and be a little dangerous. Um, and Jeremy Like over at Practical IT, if you're watching this, uh, no laughing buddy. <laughs> All right, so anyway, here we go. Maybe I'll get it right this time. There we go. Now it's going, doing a few checks. And now here we are, we're at the Pi-hole installer and it says the installer will transform your device into a network wide blocker. We're gonna go ahead and say, okay. It tells us that Pi-hole is free, but it's always accepting donations and we're going to acknowledge that. And here it's telling you it needs a static IP, the Pi-hole server. 
is pi hole is a server so it needs a static ip address and then it goes on to say do you understand this that you have to give it a static ip or enter it through a dhcp reservation so i'm going to just toggle over and say yes i understand the message here we're going to pick our dns so i'm going to use cloudflare i'm just going to arrow down and then pi hole relies on third party part third party lists in order to block ads and it's giving us a default list here so we're just going to accept that for now but you can add others as after the installation is done but for now we're going to take this one do you wish to install web admin interface we're going to say yes do you wish to install the web server and required php modules we're going to go with the recommended yes do you want to log queries sure why not select the privacy mode for ftl we're just going to show everything and it's completing the installation and it should give us the password and address of the server to log in at once this is completed. So what I'll do is I'll come back once the Pi hole installation has completed and we'll check and we'll log in and see if we can get to the home page. Okay. So we're, Finally done with the Pi hole installation. It gives us the IP address we need to use to get to our Pi hole page and the admin web page login. I would recommend you guys write this password down if you intend to log into your Pi hole server and do some more uh, tweaking. So in any event, we're going to go to 172.21.1.51 forward slash admin. So let me bring up a new window. And we're going to go into the address 172.21.1.51 forward slash admin. And hopefully, if all goes well, we should get the Pi Hole web page. And there we go. And then again, you can log in. I didn't write down that password, but you can see now we have Pi Hole running on the Ubuntu virtual machine on Synology's virtual machine manager. Okay, so there's a quick look at installing Pi Hole on a Synology virtual machine. I hope the viewers that requested this video find it helpful and useful, along with others who may want to install Pi Hole on a virtual machine. So that said, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that I have listed here up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I want to thank you for using the Amazon affiliate links. I know they don't change your price, but they do help out the channel. Also, if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, I have links to my Patreon page and my PayPal link down in the video description. Again, my name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, please stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.